Oh, here comes Radonathan with his almighty L2. I shouldn't be so terrified right now. Ooh, there's three. Fire in a hole! <laughs> I better get that yellow. Oh, the cold proc got him. Holy shit. That's better than you think it is. I promise. Just me and you, Radonathan. Hey, my dudes. I'm back on my bullshit. Now, I know I've been taking a lot of hiatuses from YouTube lately. I'm gonna explain all of that at the end of this video. So if you're wondering what's been going on, uh, you'll find out there. But today I brought back my death build. my One of my favorite builds for sure. It's pretty goddamn strong. Not the strongest, but it's just about the best death build you can make, all things considered. So I will show this build again and then we'll go into invasions. So here we've got the Onyx Blade, I mean uh, Health and Steeple. It's a really hard hitting greatsword. There's nothing special about it other than the fact that it just hits like a goddamn truck. Like really, it does. The moveset is not the good greatsword moveset. You know, you want the knight's greatsword moveset. And this one has just the basic moveset, but that's okay, because it makes up for it in damage. As you can see right there, that's a lot of damage, okay? That's a lot of damage. Now we've got our Prince of Death staff, because it scales the best with intelligence and faith. I've got a parry here, and I've got some dark fashion, some edgy fashion, basically. It's, you know, it's a whole theme, okay? Here I've got poise for big strong boys, I got these two for magic damage, and I got this to make sure I can roll. And here I've got some stats and spells for you. Now, this is not a common build archetype in this game. You're not going to see these builds too often. Intelligence, faith, I mean. And the reason for that is they're just not very good at lower levels. They're not even good at level 125. You know, you kind of got to go to level 150 or 168 to make this good. It just needs a lot of stat investment. I don't know why intelligence and faith is like that, but... Basically, that entire build archetype is reserved for over level 125, because if you try to do it lower than that, it's just going to suck. But I do think this is the best, you know, death ghost flame build you can make. I don't think it gets much better than this, unless you go to, like, level 200 or something. But I don't really consider that a build. That's a matter of opinion, you know. Some would consider that a build. I don't really. But yeah, as far as the spells go, Ancient Death Rancor is good for applying pressure. It's super, super annoying because it's really slow. It follows the target around forever. So if they're throwing shit at you, you know, you can just do a couple Rancor. Then they'll have to run from the Rancor and they'll stop throwing shit at you. It's nice for that reason. We also have Explosive Ghost Flame there. That's a pretty great spell in Invasions just because it has like a massive area of effect where it knocks the targets down and then it does like 600 damage or so. Not bad, honestly, but it has a slow wind up with no hyper armor. As far as the rest of the spells go, we've seen all these spells already on this YouTube channel. But yeah, that's the build. I hope you like it. Well, like and subscribe if you're cool and dislike if you dislike it or just don't fucking do anything. I don't give a shit. Enjoy the video. Holy fucking shit. They already got a blue. This game just wants to ruin my fucking fun. And I honestly can't blame it. I didn't know the ball could hit me. I mean, like, I knew, but I forgot. Hell to the world. Damn, that net. Oh my god, that's the McDonald's net right there. I'm terrified. Dude, really? Multiple consecutive L2s. Jesus Christ. Worst anime attack ever. Alright, dude. Y'all wanna keep throwing shit? I'll show you some shit to throw, okay? I'll show you how to throw some shit. How you like this? <laughs> he tried to blast through it, dude. No roll catch still. It's impossible to roll catch this dude because he's on that McDonald's net. He's so powerful. A little bit too powerful. Now, the only thing worse than a wizard and an L2 spammer is a laggy wizard and an L2 spammer. This is fucking crazy, dude. No roll catch. I'm just not gonna be able to roll catch this dude. Yep, let's just spam everything. It'll eventually work. There's a roll catch right there. I can do it. It's just extremely difficult. Through no fault of mine. Oh my god. He swung out a hit stun himself to death. And there is a fucking blue in here now. 
ready to ruin my fun. Oh my god, I gotta get out of here, dude. Big rock, go burr. I love it. Excellent moves. Good damage. I'm not even buffed? This weapon is kind of remarkable, honestly. I gotta get this dude. One more? Thank you very much. Thanks for being blue. And by thanks for being blue, I mean thanks for being a fucking idiot. I'm gonna hurt this wizard so good. I'm gonna hurt him so good. If I can hit him. I don't know about this one. That's pretty fucking bad. Oh my god, that is so bad. He's calling more blues. Please. Oh, thank you so much, dude. You are the lord of fucking spam, and that actually legit kind of irritated me. Tell me that doesn't reach. Okay. I thought he could still hit me from that far, and it, it almost made me real upset. I'm gonna be annoying. Almost as annoying as you. Nice roll catch attempt. Get him, get him! Ancient Death Rancor. Not as good as Affinity. I miss Affinity from Dark Souls 3 really bad. So is that a red over there? I think there's a red over there, and he's not doing a whole lot to help, but he has the same fucking build as me. Just about. Roll for me. Thank you very much. Wow, what terrible gangers. Dude, please. Maybe this guy's got some skills. Maybe I was I was wrongly evaluating him. Wow, we have the same fucking build? Bizarre. Sir, please don't run. Oh, okay. Get him! Oh my god! The double onyx blade combo. This is amazing. <laughs> I kind of like this invader, not gonna lie. <laughs> Nope. Oh my god, this is a fucking mess. These people do not know how to play the game, and it shows. Fuck you. Watch the L2-a-thon. Oh man, that is not fucking good. I'm not a big fan of your guys' uh, play style, if you could call it that. Jesus Christ. Fucking annoying. Fire in a hole! <laughs> the host thought he was fucking slick. You think you're fucking cool, bro? One more. Get the fuck out of here. Ganker Beach? What? Okay. I see they don't want to fight the boss. Sir, you need to calm yourself right now. You both need to calm yourself. Making me all upset. Shit. Give me that. Shut the fuck up. Quit ganking out here. Seriously. This is not cool. Nobody thinks this is cool. He's got his bigger axe out. So threatening. So scary. Big strong gankers, they're gonna hurt me. This guy's fucking crazy, dude. He does not give a fuck. Good space. One more. Yeah, this is what happens when you gank. Why would you do this? Hello? How we doing? I don't really care, as always. I'm just I'm just asking because it's, you know, it's funny. It's a joke. Because invaders aren't supposed to care about you. And we don't, I promise. Damn, dude, you could at least roll the second one. Oh, here comes Radonathan with his almighty L2. I shouldn't be so terrified right now. Ooh, there's three. Fire in a hole! <laughs> I better get that yellow. Oh, the cold proc got him. Holy shit. That's better than you think it is, I promise. Just me and you, Radonathan. Show me what you got. Um, I'm not sure what just happened there. Oh, oh okay. He's just L2 and not a hit stun. I can't see. We got another bot here. I really don't like being trapped in this narrow hallway with that fucking L2 spam. Damn, bro. He was a straight-up bot. That was that, like, seven L2s? These Radons never learn. They never fucking get it. 
they're incapable. I, I'm just gonna go with the, the idea that they're bots. Hey, my dudes. How we doing? This doesn't look like a very good place for you to fight me. So I'm gonna try even harder to be annoying because we're on a narrow pathway. And I know that's scary. Jesus Christ. Dude just got annihilated, poor thing. The random jump attack, overpowered. I'm gonna do it. I don't give a fuck. All right, Mr. White Mask. No L2 for you. <laughs> He's gonna go off. <laughs> He's gonna go off. <laughs> Typical White Mask. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh my god, what is going on here? Fuck you, buddy! Oh, that is so mean. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do you like that. Holy shit! Oh my god, that is not what I thought was gonna happen. Never see that spell. Never. No, don't get the host! Don't get the host. Gotta prolong the invasion as long as I can. Dude, can you, like, not? You know why that, that boss just hit me? Because Miyazaki fucking hates invaders. That's why. The, the enemies are sneakily designed to hit invaders, but like not be super obvious about it. Uh oh. Hey my dudes. I sincerely hope you enjoyed this YouTube video. I do enjoy making them. But I gotta talk about some not great stuff now. I've been having some issues in relation to my YouTubership, basically. Um... Let me start from the beginning. Uh, I decided that I wanted to take some time off to kind of fix some issues I was having and get caught up on the YouTube stuff. So by the time Shadow of the Earth Tree is coming around, I am prepared. I'm not falling behind anymore. You know, I can be real full time, not halfway full time like I previously was. But I want to be, you know, a daily YouTuber streamer. That's basically the plan. So I did all that. And then when I was done with all that, I announced on community tab, okay, I'm going to be going full-time now. Full-time YouTuber. It's going to be really cool. This is what I wanted to do for, like, a long time. But a huge problem started occurring, like, literally right after I said I was going to go full-time. So my PlayStation is pretty much the only thing I have to, you know, make YouTube videos. It's how I get the gameplay to be turned into YouTube videos, right? So without that... I pretty much can't do anything. When I start playing Elden Ring, usually after like, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes, my console, my PlayStation, will just shut off. It doesn't say it's about to shut off or anything. There's no warning. It just shuts off. And ah, I can't fix it. I don't know what's causing it. I've tried cleaning it. I've tried moving it. I've tried changing the power cord. Nothing works. It's literally just busted. I can only play the game for like 15, maybe 20 minutes before it shuts down. This is my third attempt to make this talking segment of the YouTube video because my PlayStation keeps shutting down. Now, I was trying to avoid this because I am not a wealthy man and PlayStations are very expensive. But I have to buy a new one. I have to. And that's going to be pretty damaging to me. I mean, I'll survive, but... I was really trying to avoid that. I've been trying to save up, you know, to upgrade my YouTuber equipment, basically. And this is going to be a huge setback for that. And it just sucks. It sucks really bad. But this happens right before Shadow of the Earth Tree, where I need the PlayStation the most. It's really unlucky. <laughs> Extremely unlucky. Now, I made a community post about this. And there were some people on the community post suggesting that they would like to donate it help me take care of this problem now I don't expect anyone to do that but if you want to it is highly appreciated especially in this time of need if you you know you've been thinking about maybe donating to the channel now would be a great time to do it although I understand if you don't want to or can't I don't forget stuff like this so if you actually do do that I really really appreciate you I appreciate all the stuff you guys do to make sure I can make YouTube videos and be a YouTuber, you know. But I'm going to go get a new PlayStation. It's going to hurt, but I think I'll survive. And I just wanted you guys to know why, after saying I was going full-time, I still haven't 
been doing YouTube videos. Uh, all the gameplay for this YouTube video right here was already done before I started having the problem with the PlayStation. All I needed to do was get these talking segments done, and this has been uh, borderline impossible just because the PlayStation keeps shutting down. So it's time to go get a new one. If you do want to donate to contribute, the best ways to do that are super thanks on a YouTube video in the comments or a super chat during a live stream. Those are the two best ways, honestly. So if you guys want to do that, you know, that's how you do it. But I'm going to get out of here now. I'm going to go buy a PlayStation. Um, I appreciate you guys a lot.